In the meantime, my eyes are completely without powder, ready to roll. So I'm gonna do the contouring eye. Um, I'm gonna do a real natural look on this. And here's the fun thing about contouring um, your makeup is um, it, you can use like your bronzer pretty much for your whole face. But you, if you wanna have more dimension and have the contour rather than just bronzer, then you're gonna to wanna to use eyeshadows. Now, what I'm gonna do is put on Trish McAvoy. I'm gonna use the Bare um, Eye Base Essentials. And what I do is I just put it directly on my lid. Okay, there's my brush 66. I love using this brush. And I'm gonna do something really simple and easy, but it's gonna be crazy, because it's where I want my contour is in my crease on here. So you can see already, this is what I call my cheater product. I love this stuff, and it gives the most gorgeous color. God, it's so pretty. It's so, uh, it's just, it's got a lot of shimmer. If you don't like shimmer, you won't like this. But it's got uh, just the right shade, and here's the thing. This is step one, easy peasy. I put the shadow on, and then I can take my finger or a brush and blend it in. If you, I'm showing you both ways so that you can do it your way. But I'm coming across my crease. And I'm grabbing another finger now. I've used this one to color it and this one to blend it out some more. So that gives a gorgeous, see that how it gives that nice contour on there? Okay, now before it dries, now once these dry, I wanted to use a shadow brush. Um, once these dry, you wanna make sure that um, you don't let them dry is what I'm trying to say. So this is, I use another number 66. I have one for my highlighty stuff and one for using my eye crayons and if you see it just softens it you can do either way it's beautiful but like I say you want what I was uh, I don't know if I said this completely a minute ago but when you use these you want to make sure you get them blended if you're gonna blend them or use them as a liner you can leave them alone but if you're gonna blend them you want to blend them before they dry because once they dry they're actually waterproof another good product uh, knowledge on that one. Okay, so now, oh, and I have been using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, and I swear, I have never had lashes like this in my life, and I love this. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna come back in, though, with, I'm gonna come back in with the Trish McAvoy eyeshadow in Shell. I've got a page of colors here, and it has a lot of fun colors, but I'm not going crazy with it. I'm just gonna use the contouring two right here, which is shell and hazelnut. I may not even use hazelnut because I've already done the eye crayon on there, but I'm gonna use shell and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna emphasize right above my lash line, okay? You wanna make sure that you keep this nice and bright and it helps with this contour. Remember, we're working on contour. Plus, it helps to keep the, the eyes look younger, by the way, for those who are interested. And I'm just using what's left on the brush underneath the brow. I'm not really making it really a strong color on there. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner. It's wonderful, Sisley eyeliner, and it has this right there. And so now I'm gonna grab this little hand. Remember, when you're doing your liquid eyeliner and all of your eye makeup actually, that you don't, if, you, if you're waiting to put your concealer on until afterwards, you can fix and clean up under here. So you can do all your primer, up to the primer, and then wait to, your, to do your foundation until later. This is what I call the base of the uh, liquid eyeliner, the flick, before the flick. Now I wanna warm up 
my eyelids a little bit. I, I'm gonna use my Trisha McAvoy number 29 um, by Terry uh, Bronzer. These are the CC powders in Sunny Flash and Rosy. And I'm gonna grab my uh, Sunny Flash and I have, I'm gonna put this in my crease on top of the Bronze Moon because I wanna emphasize that even more. But the Bronze Moon gives a perfect contour and that's really what I love about it is it gives that nice neutral brown contour where this is warming it up a bit. And I'm just gently going through the crease and making sure it's on there. Now, I look kind of stripey, right? So now I'm gonna take a different brush. It's called the number 45 Sheer Application. It's what I put the shell on with a minute ago. And I'm just gonna soften the whole look, okay? With this. See how it softens it up a bit. Now I will tell you, once you get the, the concealer on, it completely transforms all this. But um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer to bring that light forward. We want it nice and bright under our eyes, but nothing raccoony. We just want it to look nice and um, natural and healthy. Um, Sicily Eye Concealer with Botanical en Extracts. And the fun thing about Sicily, if you don't know this, the whole line is botanical. So all this plant-based wonderfulness is gonna help to actually make me look younger because this stuff is a an eye treatment an under eye treatment and a color corrector so this color if you look it's kind of orange looking but is it just helps to cut through the uh dark circles and it has things like caffeine in it which help to perk up the skin and it literally makes my eyes look younger bring it on so funny yesterday my son was he's like i said something about growing older and he said well you don't have anything to worry about mom you're 42 and i was like um no actually i'm oh i'm gonna be 50 at my next birthday in a couple of months so i th i was so excited that he had forgotten how old i am it's a nice change when he was little we would go to the pool in the summer notice i'm putting a little bit more on and now mind you, this comes with a brush when you buy it. It also comes with a roller. No, no, that's the eye cream. Okay, but that's cool too. That stuff's fabulous. Sometime I'll show you that. Um, but he, when we were at the pool one year, um, he was little. It was about, well. He's 50 now. Gosh, he was probably seven. At the time, I don't know, I can't remember. He was young, between six and nine. I don't know that sounds good. No, I'm nine. He was So he, he, he got in the pool and he was so excited. He goes, oh, my mom, she's 40. And I was like, oh my God, well, there's your math, Fontaine. Nine years ago. Obviously, I'm no math genius when I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> okay, now I am using number 66 to do this, but another thing I love to use for this is my wet dry brush by Trish McAvoy. This is the one I put my foundation on with and this is the one I also sometimes will blend in my concealer. Now what you need to know too is I do do two I do do two layers <laughs> I do two layers of um concealer and uh, that one was a the Sicily one is a um, color corrector and this one is my brightener. The other one I could get away with, right? And this almost seems too bright, right? Well, okay, let's look at this. Let's watch this change. This is number two in Sicily, in, in Sicily, in by Terry. Actually, that was number two in Sicily too, so. Okay. So it's okay if you get some of your concealer through there because we're trying to brighten this up through the center it'll bring it forward and we can do some contour through there and I'll show you in a minute to help to make the nose look its best again once you do this on your own maybe I'll do it in real time anyway once you do this on your own you'll find that it's it's really not that hard this is actually me talking through it is a lot longer. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that powder brush that I had done my whole face with a few minutes ago, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush and just pounce what's in that brush 
under here to set it without making it crack or dry or anything. It just is gonna keep it from going anywhere. I don't wanna add powder. 